I want to thank uh, Linus for joining us this morning from Homania. Um, we, uh, I guess I, I say we because I just remember starting up with Homania back, and I'm going to say 10 years ago. About that. And, uh, and, and Homania has built out a system. We used to call it the EMP program. I don't know if you remember that, Linus, and it was uh, enhanced marketing. And that's what we, uh, we had. It, it really was not a virtual tour system. It never has been just a virtual tour system. Um, it's a full marketing suite. Uh, and when the concept was brought up and uh, we all talked about it, the whole concept was to provide an agent with all the services to get a listing up and marketed the most effective way to generate more views online to their listing, hopefully generate some business for the agent. I think was, you know, one of the things, but not just that, but provide an excellent service for the consumer so you can get repeat and referral business. So there's really two aspects of that. And, and uh, it really has grown a lot in 10 years. So Linus is going to, uh, for everyone on the, uh, on the, I say the call this morning, but on the zoom meeting this morning um, is going to see the right from the beginning of how to really utilize the spotlight marketing program. How, how to sign up and get it going, and how easy it is um, to get a really high-end, um, engaging website and marketing system for your, for your listing. So I hope I didn't steal too much of your thunder there, uh, Linus, but you guys have done such a great job over the last 10 years, and uh, I don't think we have you on enough. I, I think we, as, a, uh, as managers in our company, just assume our agents are always using it and forget to you know, geez, you know, we really should start promoting this a little more because some, some people may not know uh, that have come on in the last 10 years. So I'll uh, hand it over to you, Linus, and we'll get going. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Tina. Yeah, I think we're going to try and make it a habit of coming in more often and if nothing else, doing these Zoom calls or, you know, once we can start going back into the offices, going to the offices and doing some more in-person training as well. Um, we did do a seminar I guess it was maybe two months ago, maybe a little less than two months ago now, um, which goes over some more advanced topics. Um, today's seminar in particular is more spotlight for beginners. It's going over the basics. Um, after you watch this, if you want to learn more, you can check out that old seminar. I'm sure it's on Facebook or Aaron can probably tell you where it might be. Um, and then we also have like a ton of different video resources and stuff. And I'll point you in those directions like during the course of this presentation itself. So today, like I said before, we're specifically going to be talking about topics that are geared towards those who haven't had a chance to use us before, or maybe use us a couple of times, but you want to get a bit of a firmer grasp on what it is that Spotlight's giving to you. So the seminar today was supposed to be called Spotlight for Beginners, but I think my nine-year-old son had a better name for it. For, so I'm going to go with his idea, Spotlight for Newbies. For those of you without kids, my son's age, don't worry, that's like not a bad word or anything. Um, it's just a slang for someone that's new at something, right? So it seemed kind of context appropriate in this case. And also my son will be pretty happy that he got to name my presentation. So I guess two birds with one stone, right? Okay, so before we get into the presentation, the meat of the presentation, I want to go over something with everyone here. And that's uh, there's a spectrum that everyone falls onto when it comes to how tech savvy they are. On one side of the spectrum, you've got people who struggle with technology. They either just don't get it or maybe it isn't for them. They just have this fear of computers, say, right? And then on the other end of the spectrum, the opposite end, you've got these like high level techies that are so good. They can like see the matrix, right? Like I'm sure we all probably know people like that. Of course, most of us fall somewhere in the mushy middle on this spectrum of these two extremes. Okay, right, so why am I showing you this? It seems like a weird thing maybe to open up a presentation with. But the reason is because whenever there's like a consumer tech product or service kind of like a spotlight, be it like, you know, smartphones, computers, email, social media, like anything like that, tech companies typically struggle with servicing clients on the full side of the spectrum. Their, pro their services or products are either like too techy for the less technically inclined or they're not techy enough for the real tech nerds, right? Well, the nice thing about Spotlight is that we've successfully focused on solving this problem of being able to handle the full spectrum. Unlike other products and services out there, 
we can serve the whole spectrum. Spotlight is really for everyone. We've got like regular clients that barely touch computers. They order everything over the phone. They get us to do all the tech legwork for them. And on the other end of the spectrum, we've got clients that order online. They micromanage all like the tech facets of their listing and their marketing. And the reason I'm showing you all this is because after talking to a lot of agents over the years, one thing I found is that agents, after they start using us, one of the reasons they might have not used us in the first place is because they were initially hesitant to start using Spotlight because they thought it was either going to be too techy for them or on the flip side, not techy enough, right? So I want to try to dispel that notion and let everyone know that Spotlight really is for the full spectrum, no matter who you are. It's something you should try and give a shot. And if you ever need help with anything at all, if you have any questions, we're a quick phone call or email away. We've got a great team at Homania. Like I said, Robert's in the chat right now. More than happy to help answer any questions you have or even just have a discussion about our services with you and tell you, like, you know, we can expand on something that you'd like to talk about regarding our services. So call us, email us, have those conversations. Phone number, email are up on the screen now. They're really easy to get to. You can always head over to spotlight.century21.ca, which is website in the top right corner of your screen. That'll be up there throughout the course of the presentation. So some other resources, well, at least one big resource I've kind of already pointed out that's important to know before we really get going in the presentation is the Spotlight website, spotlight.century21.ca. Here you can find all sorts of information. There's videos, like kind of like the one I'm doing today, like seminars, a lot of resources like that. There's details on our packages, our pricing. We did a seminar series with a lot of informational videos there. I did some podcasts with Aaron. We haven't done them for a while and we're planning on starting to do them up again soon. But there's a lot of great information there too. So you can check out our podcast. There's order forms. You can get the information how to like order Spotlight itself. There's also listing presentation resources. And I'll, I'll get to those a little bit later on the presentation because Spotlight's really, really useful to bulk up your listing presentation. There's quite a bit of stuff on the site. So definitely like make a note of it and check it out when you have some time. Okay, so now that we've gotten the preamble out of the way, let's talk a little bit more about what Spotlight itself really is. Now, I always like to start these presentations and I, I use this, these next few slides a lot, so I apologize if you've seen some of my other presentations. I like to start these presentations by kind of like outlining the problem that Spotlight was created to solve. It all started about a decade ago, like Aaron said, because we identified the real estate industry is extremely competitive. And like this is obviously isn't something I need to tell you. You're all real estate agents. You deal with this problem on a very regular basis. There's hundreds of realtors out there and they're all fighting for the exact same business. Hundreds, if not thousands, right? There's like so many realtors out there. And this has created this like really unhealthy environment where agents feel this compelled need to cut their commission rates to like unheard of lows to snag those clients. And this is exactly what you shouldn't be doing as a realtor. You shouldn't be competing on price. There's always going to be someone offering lower prices than you. So instead of competing on price, you should be competing on your services. You want to stop this race to the bottom. It's really just unhealthy for the industry as a whole. So it's easier said than done though, right? Well, it doesn't have to be tough. We can fix this problem using Spotlight and other things as well. And we can help you make more money in the process. It's really quite simple. If you can show your clients that your services and the end result in selling their home is better than what other agents are gonna give them, they're gonna want you to represent them. You'll be the one in demand and they're gonna be willing to pay more commission to have you represent them, right? You're kind of like a premium cup of coffee. It may cost more to buy, but it sure does taste better. I don't even drink coffee and I know that. There's a reason that Starbucks just prints money, right? And it's not by undercutting their competition. They've got a great business model and that's the kind of model that you should be going for. Not competing on that commoditized pricing, compete on services. Okay, so how do you do that? You do it by showing that you're gonna give them the best, right? The best of everything, the best cup of coffee, top end premium services. You're gonna sell their home faster than anyone else. You're gonna sell it for more money. You're not gonna cut any corners. You throw everything at them in the kitchen sink, right? That's exactly what Spotlight does. It's a marketing package that showcases their listing in the best possible light. 
got high quality photography, got stunning virtual tours, cutting edge website, comprehensive online advertising strategy. You've got everything that gives their listing like really great exposure on the internet. So don't charge bottom of the barrel commissions. Like remember, you're that premium cup of coffee, right? If you can show that to their clients, you're going to have them ordering their triple mocha soy non-fat lattes or whatever you call them from, from you instead of ordering plain old coffee from another realtor. One of the best things about Spotlight is that by using our service, we can actually make your life a lot easier too. Uh, we take care of like everything for you. This is a full service solution. It's not a drop in like tech solution that you need to administer and deploy yourself like a lot of other services are. Uh, so it's kind of like having your own personal marketing professional handling all, handling all this for you, all your listings marketing needs. We dot all those I's, we cross all the T's, we save you like all that time, the headache of the details so you can spend your time focusing on your clients. So it's a great service. Now I'm going to spend most of the rest of the seminar going over how it works. Just remember, this is Spotlight for Noobs. So I'm going to go over all the basics. There's some more advanced topics that, that I really won't be covering today just because I'm sure you don't want to sit here listening to me for 20 hours just drone on. So we're going to keep it to the essentials. And remember, we do have the online resources, like mentioned, the, the seminar I did in the past a month or so ago uh, that, we, that Heritage recorded, as well as some seminars we have online at spotlight.central21.ca that you can reference. So Spotlight itself is ordered on a listing by listing basis. It's important to note, there's not like a service that you order on a monthly or annual basis. You can really just pick and choose which listings you order it for. And then once you place an order for a listing, what we do is, the first thing we do is we'll set up a photo shoot for your listing with a local photographer. We've got photographers that cover probably like 99.9% .9 of the areas that Heritage will ever get a listing. However, if you're unsure, you can always give, a quick, give us a quick call and we can make sure that we've got coverage in your area. But we do service the vast majority of Southern Ontario now. So what we do as part of the Spotlight program is that we will talk to our photographers and we're going to find a time slot that works best for your situation, for you and your client, works on your time frames. We've got dozens of photographers that we work with. That gives us a lot of flexibility on time frame to make sure that we can find that time that works best with you. And that's one advantage that we have over like your traditional photography companies may only have like a few photographers on hand. So we'll book the photographer and then they're going to head over to your listing on the photo day of the photo shoot. And they're going to take enough high resolution photos to like properly showcase your home. It's typically uh, a minimum of 21 photos, but it's usually 35 plus. It's enough photos to make sure that we get all of the key areas of your, of your home photographed without skimping. That's the important part. So we take these photos that we've created, that we've taken for you, and we do some post-processing with them. We have advanced HDR imaging techniques to improve the quality of the pictures. Now, you don't even have to know what HDR does. You can just look at some examples and see what it does. It takes regular photographs and makes them look more magazine quality ready. Um, there's an example on your screen right now. You can see on the left of the side of this picture, it's a listing photo without HDR applied. And on the right side, it has the HDR uh, post-processing applied. Um, and what it does is makes the image pop a lot more. You can see a lot more contrast and a lot of typically low contrast areas. Like look at the clouds, for instance, or the brickwork. It really just makes it come out and jump off the page a lot more. Okay, so we take those photographs that we've done for you we turn them into a slideshow style, high definition video tour on YouTube with background music and a professionally recorded audio voiceover description. We do that for your listing. You can choose either male or female voices to record your audio uh, so you can kind of tailor it to your specific needs and wants. And again, this is the slideshow style virtual tour. We do have other kinds of virtual tours I'll get into a little bit later in the presentation, but this is the, this, the one that's included in the standard package and it's, it's enough for you know, the vast majority of the, the listings that you'd have. Okay, we also take the pictures and what we do is we create fully customizable electronic feature sheets for your listing. We send you a proof to look over and if you like it, you can take that proof, which is just a PDF and, you can prevent, and we can print them professionally for you. The front desk can actually print them for you at the office. Uh, you can print them at home. 
or you can go to your local like office depot or print shop, wherever you'd like to get stuff printed, you can print it there. Uh, we give you that flexibility to use or not use our feature sheets in any way that you want. We don't try and lock, lock you into a specific way of printing them. And the other thing too, is if you don't like those proofs that we send you, like we, we pick the photos when we put the proofs in there, but maybe you don't like the picture of the kitchen we picked. It's really easy to change stuff. You've got two options if you want to change things. If, if you're less tech savvy or you just are really busy, you can get us to do it. You can just give us a call, you can email us, you can tell us what you want to change on those feature sheets and we can do it for you. We can swap the photos, we can change the text on the pages, we can change some logos, branding, put extra images in, do all that kind of stuff. And that's all included too. Like we don't charge extra for that kind of thing. And for those of you that are more tech savvy, the other option too is you can actually make all these sorts of tweaks yourself. We've got an online feature sheet editor and let's see if I can pull it up here. Here's an example of it here. Like you can just choose a photo and it'll show all the listing photos that we've taken for you. Maybe like want a different photo of the front. So you click on it and what it'll actually do is it'll change it right there and load it into the, into the feature sheet. You can move it around. You can change some text as well too. You can do whatever you want. It's a fully customized like feature sheet editor. You can change like pretty much anything you want about it. Really handy, really useful tool. And a lot of people actually don't know about it too because they just take their proofs and run with it or call us about it. But this is great, especially if you're the kind of person that likes to dabble with things or micromanage. All right. And if you're looking for something really custom too, if these like feature sheet templates that we have, like we've got a few standard ones that look great, but if you've got like your own branding, your own color schemes, that kind of thing, what we can actually do is uh, for a small design fee, and it's typically not too much, especially if it's not a lot of like extra design work we have to do, we can create um, a completely branded feature sheet specifically for you. Like we can, we can design from scratch, we can modify existing templates, we can do whatever you want, create it so that whenever you order a spotlight listing down the road, we'll use those templates. And it's like a one-time charge. So we'll just create the template for you. So whenever you got those future listings, we'll just send it to you with those proofs and it won't cost you anything in, in, for your subsequent listings. It's really great. A lot of teams or agents with like specific kind of branding colors do go this route. And it's a really powerful tool because we can get that stuff in there without having to like do graphic designer charges every single time that you wanted to make a new feature sheet like a lot of other companies would charge you for. Okay, so we take all this media and stuff that we've created, the videos, the feature sheets, the, the pictures, we put them onto a premium web page. And this web page uh, becomes the kind of the core presence or like home for your listing on the internet. Our online marketing strategy, and I'm gonna talk about that after I totally about the listing web page. Uh, that online marketing strategy is really geared towards funneling as much traffic as possible towards this listing web page. So let's take a quick look at a live sample. And I just found an active listing. Nicola has one on Six Langdale here. Um, so this is a listing web page. It's typically what you'd what you'd see. Now I'm going to try and bring your focus to a few different elements on the listing web page as I go over it. First, you'll notice that this listing web page is split to like left and right sides. The left side of the listing web page is all about the listing. The right side is all about the neighborhood or the area the listings around. Cause you're not just selling the listing, right? you're selling the whole lifestyle. So we wanna make sure we get that kind of feel going on with your listing web page. Left side is gonna have your photo gallery, which is great, easily nav navigable. I always wonder if that's a word, navigatable. Uh, you can check it out in full screen too. There's a video tour, your brochures, like all that stuff's gonna be here so that they can check out that information about the listing. Scroll down a bit, you'll get your listing description, your MLS details, um, pretty much anything that you need. By the way, this listing description, we pull this in from MLS, but we always encourage agents when you do an order uh, to send us like a customized uh, listing description, something that's written in like plain English that reads properly, like reads like an actual book, not like kind of like that broken MLS English. Um, it's, it's really beneficial because not only will your voiceover sound a lot better for your video if you have something written in proper English, but also this is unique content for Google to index and it'll help get you up in Google search. Um, Google search is something that I'm not going to be talking a ton about today because uh, it's more of an advanced topic, but I did talk about that a lot in the last seminar if you look that up. Uh, so that's the left side of the page, all that kind of listing information. Um, on the right side, like I mentioned, it's about the neighborhood, the area that, you, that the person is hopefully going to be living in soon that's looking at this website. So what we have on the right side is we get, we've done write-ups for hundreds and hundreds of neighborhoods all over Ontario. 
Uh, we've done write-ups on history as well as like the recreation hotspots say in the area. Uh, this section here also has an amenities finder so it can show you like the local restaurants, how long it takes to drive or walk or take public transit to those different spots like restaurants, police, fire departments, I'm not gonna go over all these, but places of worship, et cetera. Uh, so it's a great way to find a bunch of local amenities. Uh, one really useful tool is we've got a school finder as well. Here we'll actually show all of the local schools uh, that are close to listing. There's actually a ton of them next to this listing here. That's kind of crazy. Uh, you can filter it by grade though. So let's say you're looking for like elementary schools. Oh, there's still a lot of those. Um, maybe French immersion. So we can switch to French immersion. There you go. That's a little bit more palatable. Three French immersion schools that are elementary in the area. So you can filter by like whatever kind of school you're looking for, right? Uh, even private or Catholic schools as well. You can check by school board. Um, and then it'll also show you there's a little school zone search tool to see if that school is actually within the catchment area of the listing. So this is pretty powerful. Obviously, schools are, are really important for a lot of people um, when they're taking a look at their listings. And finally, also commute tool. It shows you how far you can get from the listing within a certain amount of time by either driving or walking. People like to know how long it takes to get to places. So it's a handy way to have that presented. A couple other things that I want to, uh, to show as well is when I'm scrolling up and down, you might notice the bottom bar, that branding of Nicola's down there, it stays sticky the whole time I scroll up and down. It doesn't move around on you, right? And a lot of listing web pages for whatever reason don't do that. And I think it's a really important design decision because it's selling yourself as well as the listing, right? Um, I know like we hear all the time, an agent will say like, yeah, like I put up a spotlight listing and it started that like train of getting more business, right? Because you've got prospective buyers looking at your listing. They might not have representation, right? They see this, they see the great job you're doing, the professional design of the web page and everything. And they'll, they'll see your name at the bottom and be like, hey, I'm gonna give Nicola a call when I wanna sell my home, right? And then suddenly you'll get listing presentations out of it. So it's a good source of getting listing presentations or leads is through having listings yourself, right? So I wanna make sure that you're front and center as much as possible so people see you, maybe they'll come across a few listings and they'll start getting, you'll get that branding down, right? So it's, it's a really important facet of it. Also on this bottom bar too, we've got a little chat with me live widget. Now this, I always say it was added as a bit of an afterthought because we, we weren't expecting it to perform as well as it did, but it's, it's the number one uh, leads, um, incoming leads uh, way of capturing leads actually on this listing web page. Uh, we do have some other ways to, you can contact the agent book of showing, like people do come through there too, but this chat with me live section is actually used quite surprisingly quite a bit. Now what it is, is it's, it's a live chat window, right? So right now it says Nicola, how can I help you? It looks like Nicola's there waiting for you to ask her a question, right? And a lot of people will engage with something like this. They might be like, oh, you know, I just want to know how many bathrooms there were. And like, usually someone would be like, wouldn't be bothered to call you. But since it's right there, they'll just quickly type it in. How many bathrooms are in this, uh, in this home, Nicola? I'd like to know. So the person would type that in, they click the send button and they'll say, okay, you know, just in case we get disconnected, give me your name, your email address, your phone number, right? And that, that's where we capture the lead. And, and it's, it's important, like almost all the people who get past the screen here would click the start chat button. And what it'll do is it'll send you uh, the message. It'll say, okay, the, you'll get a text message to your phone. It'll say, hey, Nicola, you've got a incoming lead for six Langdale Court. Uh, you can reply to this text message to reply directly to them. And then it'll say whatever their message is, Bob how many bathrooms are here? And then Nicola, what she can do is she can on her phone, just text back, you know, whatever her answer is. And that answer will pop up live in this chat window. So you can have a two-way chat with a client, you from your phone and the client from their browser. And it'll be that live back and forth, which is amazing. I'm, I'm sure you've probably heard it from your managers or trainers too. Like there's all sorts of statistics on leads conversion. If you can convert on like an incoming lead within like the first, I don't know what it is, like five, 10 minutes of it coming in, the conversion rate just goes like through the roof compared to like if you let it sit and simmer. Well, there's nothing faster than like a live chat, right? Like this is instantaneous. So the lead conversion here is something that I think everyone should be taking advantage of. And if, you know what, if the per if you're not there, if they like send this message to you at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, right? Or, or you're, you're out watching a movie, that's okay. Like, yeah, they won't get a response right away, but we'll send you a transcript of what they've said along with our lead information. So you can contact them back, right? And you can follow up on that lead and that lead's still there. So it's a pretty advantageous thing to try and take advantage of. Uh, 
another thing I wanted to show you too is we actually have these listing web pages translated into about 12 uh, different languages. Uh, these are native translations. So what, one of the advantages of this is, well, there's a couple advantages. If someone is coming to this web page, and let's say they're a native uh, French speaker, right? The, the browser settings or the computer is set up so that French is their default language. When they come to the screen, it won't actually be presented in English. It'll it auto detects language of preference and it'll present it, say, in French. So all of the different like navigation elements, even the listing description, not the listing description, sorry, the community descriptions, everything will be presented in that language. The one notable exception is obviously like your, um, the listing description will still be in English. We don't translate those. Those are kind of hard to translate and would be, as you can imagine, like very time consuming. Uh, however, everything else, even like the, the MLS information and stuff will be translated into that, their native language. Now, one of the advantages of this too is not only are you presenting it to them in their native tongue, but also let's say someone was searching Google from China, let's say China, because I've got Chinese up here right now, and they're looking to invest in Toronto, right? They Google in Chinese, you know, homes in Toronto. Well, because we have native translations for this, and we tell Google and Bing and all the major search engines that we do have native translations in Chinese and other languages, we get search result boosts because of it for those, those foreign language searches. So you're more likely to come up first in search. And because no one else I know of does this, this is a clear advantage that Spotlight gives over, say, other um, photographers or listing web pages that you might find. <clears throat> Final thing I'm going to show you about the website here, too, is um, that you can actually, it's, I don't know how this is going to look in the zoom here, but I'm resizing the screen. And you can see that on a mobile, on like your mobile device, a tablet or a cell phone, this is actually a fully scalable site and it's fully featured too. So like this is what you'd see probably on a cell phone. Uh, you got the chat, you've got all the like amenity finders, the write-ups, like you get, you get everything, right? We don't skimp on the features when it's a smaller device and it scales up with the size of the device. Um, all the way up to desktop. So it's great for all devices, which is important. And nowadays has so much traffic does come through mobile or tablets uh, as opposed to just desktop traffic like it used to. And surprisingly, a lot of websites still aren't optimized for mobile for whatever reason. It's kind of frustrating when I'm trying to use my phone and navigate to those sites, but it is what it is. That's why we've made sure we've kept in touch with that. Okay, so that's the, the website that is provided with Spotlight. Um, I mentioned before we have an online advertising strategy. So it's great to have an amazing website, but if no one sees it, it kind of defeats the purpose, right? So we need an advertising strategy to get as many eyeballs on the listing as possible. That's what Spotlight will give you. We implement an online, strat online advertising strategy that increases your listings exposure and drives all this extra traffic to the web page. We post the listing web page to all major social media networks classified ad networks, real estate discovery websites. We also ensure that your photos are all uploaded to Century 21's Core 21 system. We verify all photos and media links have been uploaded to your real estate board and to realtor.ca as well. We submit your listing to Google and Bing and get them indexed there. So you'll be indexed first in your search engine optimized to increase your listings presence in Google and Bing search. We also purchase a premium.com domain for your listing, a unique one uh, that helps with advertising <clears throat> and making your listing as obviously as easy to find as possible. This here, I know I kind of breezed through it quickly, but this is a very important slide. This, what this does is it shows your potential client that you're trying to like, you know, trying to snag in a listing presentation that you've got this comprehensive, well thought out like online strategy for their listing, right? It's very useful to show uh, to future clients in that listing presentation. And I'm going to be going over a bit more details in the listing presentation uh, later on in this presentation of mine, but just keep that in mind for now. And we do give you access to the slide so you can use this. And like I said, it's a very powerful slide. Okay. So everything I've shown you up to this point, <clears throat> the price of it is a $220 and that includes photography. It's a really competitive price. If you'd rather use our services with your own photographer or your own photos, you can purchase, purchase one of these packages for $125. And at that price, we'll do everything for you, like other 
and take the photos. It includes putting them into a virtual tour, doing the audio voiceover, creating the feature sheets, the online marketing strategy, listing web page, like all that stuff that's included for the 125. Um, and a lot of people will be like, okay, well, it's not worth doing if you don't get the photos, right? But to be honest with you, about 25% of our clients order Spotlight with and provide their own photography. And it's a completely viable strategy. It works extremely well for a lot of agents. In a lot of ways, it gives you the best of both worlds, right? You can use, say, your, your favorite photographer, your own photos if you're trying to save a few dollars. And it gives you that amazing online marketing strategy to go with it. So definitely consider that even if they're, you've got your favorite photographer that you want to use. So one thing I want to talk about now for a few minutes too is, is timeline. And <clears throat> generally this is the point in the presentation where I start getting a lot of questions and I haven't had a chance to look at the chat, but I wouldn't be surprised if I went already. Uh, get questions about timeframes. So let's talk about timeframes. I'm going to talk about when you should probably do everything with respect to day zero on the market. I'm going to talk to you about what I call comfortable timeframes. They're not hard and fast rules by any stretch. They're just kind of like suggestions on how much time you should give yourself to avoid problems that are like out of anyone's control. So just to be clear, like we've done this whole process from ordering to market. I've, we've actually done it within a day before, right? We've done it on much shorter time frames than I'm going to show you now. Like actually probably the majority, actually I know the majority of listings that we do do are on shorter time frames. I'm going to show you here, but this is just the time frame we suggest to make it comfortable to make sure that you, the process goes as smoothly as you want for both you and your client. Again, to handle any of those things that might be out of anybody's control. So my suggestion is to order your spotlight package at least a week before going to market. And expect to have photography done about four days of placing, uh, after placing your order. And then, like I said, these are comfortable timeframes. Typically, it's only a day or two we'll have photography scheduled and everything for you. But we're talking comfortable timeframes. We're not talking about what's required or doable, right? Um, so the thing is, if you ha give it yourself, be like, hey, I'm going to order on a Monday. I want photography for, for Thursday or Friday. You're giving yourself that space to make sure that we've got the photography availability. Uh, maybe that photography you really want to use and you've got a really specific time frame that you want to have those photos taken for whatever reason, we can more easily make that happen if you have more time. If you say like, I have to have the pictures done as soon as possible, need them tomorrow. Yeah, we can probably do that, but you might have to compromise on who can do it because that photographer that you want may be fully booked. And this may be like March or April you're talking about where photographers are booking up like crazy, right? We want to make sure you give yourself enough time. So in order to do that, I suggest four days, but you know what? Sometimes you can't. That's fully understandable. We'll work with whatever time frames you have. These four days, like we like suggest not only for like the availability of photographers, but it happens a lot where uh, we have to cancel a photo shoot because your client's just not ready, right? Like an agent will call us and be like, you know what? Like I know the shoot's in like 10 minutes, but we're not ready for the shoot, right? So you want to try and avoid those situations. Give your clients that time to get ready. Or even like, even if you cancel the shoot, because you've done this so far in advance, you can reschedule and you can still feel comfortable that you're going to get everything done for day zero on the market. Okay. So it's these unforeseen issues. Like, like, a, like not only if your client's not ready, but maybe there's a thunderstorm on the day of, and you've got to cancel for whatever reason, or maybe your client can't get there or you can't get there to let the, the photographer in that day because of just reasons, right? These give you more time to handle that. And a lot of agents that we, that, do this, I think find that they have a lot less stress and are a lot, lot less pressured um, by their clients to like make sure they, they meet these like unrealistic timeframes. So after photography has been taken, before the next day at noon, you'll have your photos up and online and everything should be done for your website. Now I say the next day at noon, but a lot of the times it's actually that evening. Uh, again, these are just kind of comfortable timeframes, what to expect. Maybe your photographer's been busy all day. They got evening shoots and everything. They don't get a chance to put things up until the morning, which is fine, right? You're going to get stuff before noon and everything will be up and online. So that's the photo processing time. And then this time frame I'm showing you here will still give you a couple days for last minute tweaks. Maybe you're like, ooh, I don't like that photo. You want to like change things. Maybe you want to like, you know, uh, change the listing description, get some things tweaked about the video. Like maybe you want to do some extra video edits and stuff. Like this gives you a couple extra days to do that. Instead of like rushing, rushing, rushing be like, we're going to the market tomorrow. We need to have these photos ready for 9 a.m. Like just stressing out and not having like that finished product ready in advance. Um, it's much easier if you have those extra couple of days. I've been actually working with Sarah Ferens this week 
And she's amazing at handling time frames. She always tries to get things done super early. She's very meticulous, very particular about the way that she likes things. So we make sure all the time that, you know, well, she makes sure that she has these extra days to account for these things, to be able to change it, to be able to like, you know, fo- do these extra photo edits, do like whatever she needs to make sure that the listing can be perfect before it's launched. Cause Sarah likes to launch everything perfect. And she's a great agent. She definitely, she definitely check out her stuff. She's a great example of how to, how to use spotlight to its fullest. Not only is it good for that, but it's also good for Google too. Google indexes these listing web pages and those two days here that I'm showing you where you've got a completed website with all your photos, listing description, everything up there. Those two days between then and, and going to market, that gives Google that time to check it out, see your listing description, index it in search before everyone and their mother has access to this listing information. Because right now, before you're on the market, your listing web page is unique content. No one else has access to it, right? You're the only person with the photos. You're the only person with the listing information. As soon as it hits the market, everyone has access to the DDF, right? Everyone's got data feeds, a lot of, a lot of brokerages, a lot of agents, they're going to be putting up listing web pages of your listing, right? Like that's fine. That's, that's well within the guidelines of what people are allowed to do. But the problem is you're competing with other people on your own listing, which kind of sucks, but it's the reality of the situation. If you have an extra couple of days to get indexed by Google first, you're going to be seen as like the authoritative content and you're likely going to be a lot higher up in Google search results if you have that extra couple of days there. So that's another important thing for that too. So ideal timeline, seven days before give a, expect like four days or so for photography or plan for photography four days or so from when you order. Again, we can do this quicker, but this just makes things comfortable. Everyone likes to be comfortable. Okay, so I'm going to go over a few other things here. If you, I've just talked about our standard services. We do have some extra services too. Um, if you got listings a little higher end or if there's more competition in your area to snag those listings, uh, these are some services you can take advantage of. We never push these on people. Uh, it's just something that you have for your tool belt if you need it. Okay? First thing we offer is a video walkthrough. So this is instead of the slideshow style video to virtual tour, you'd actually get a video walkthrough, like a true walk through the home, a videographer walking through with a camera, going from room to room. This is great because it gives you like that flow of the home. It, it looks really great, but it's definitely not necessary, but it's a nice touch to give that extra flow of the home. And a lot of people go for this, uh, this add-on. We also offer aerial photography and videography. So if you've got a home that will really take advantage of having those nice aerial high angle shots of like the neighborhood or the lot or the waterfront, whatever it happens to be, we've got aerial photography that we can, that you can order alongside your standard photography package. Now I want to caution everybody when promising about aerial photography, because there are a surprising number of places where you're not allowed to fly drones because of local uh, bylaws or zone, like restrictions on flight paths and things like that. So when you're going into a listing, a listing presentation say, and you, you, you think that it's gonna really take advantage of aerial photography, like it's probably a good idea to check a list to make sure that it's possible first there before promising anything to your clients. Um, it's just a quick phone call or email. You just let us know, like I've got a listing coming up here. Just wanna know if aerial photography is something we can do and we can let you know. Uh, there's some situations where you pretty much can never do aerial photography. Sorry, my cat's tail's getting in the, in the frame here. Uh, like if you've got like a high rise, like commercial building that you're doing, or a very high traffic area, like if you're on like Young Street, for instance, you won't be able to do aerial for those because it's a safety issue. Um, you're not allowed to, to fly drones in high traffic or highly populated areas, but typically like, you know, your suburban areas or you're more like estate properties, you'd be fine for that. And with this aerial photography and video, if uh, you do aerial photography and you do videography, the last add-on I mentioned, we'll actually combine the two and you get some aerial video into your virtual tour as well. So you, you can see the example here, hopefully, um, where you get those two things combined. So another thing that we can do as well for you is we can produce 3D interactive tours of the home using Matterport or iGuide technology. These are really cool and they've seen a large increase in popularity, especially since COVID happened. Uh, it gives prospective buyers an easy way to get into the home without like actually getting into the home. Um, it's kind of hard to show you just from a picture here. So I'm just gonna show you an actual listing with um, a Matterport tour. This is just a listing, this is a live listing that Jennifer's got. 
And you'll notice that when you use an interactive tour app, we actually make that front and center because it's a pretty important element that you've paid for. Uh, but it's really cool. Like you get, I'm sure you've, you've probably all seen them before, but you get this dollhouse view of the, of the home and you can go into any room. You can check it out just like you were there. Um, one great integration that uh, Broker Bay has, and, and now that you're using Broker Bay for your backend, you can actually create, um, you can make online showings uh, available through your listing webpage using Matterport and stuff. I'm not going to get into the details of that. I'm sure Aaron's got some resources he can probably send or post um, that goes over kind of that kind of stuff. Um, but it, that's another useful tool that you can use uh, in conjunction with Matterport or iGUIDE. But anyways, uh, this is great because you can walk through the home. Like I said, you've probably all seen it before. So I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. But one cool feature that I discovered probably a couple months ago is you can actually measure like distances too. So you can measure like wall to wall distances. It'll give you like physical measurements, which is pretty cool too. So you can get a measure of the space. Um, this wasn't someone who used Spotlight, but it's just like a, a little bit of an anecdote. Uh, one of my friends I play hockey with up here in Kingston where I live, he just sold his house recently. It was during the height. I think it was like in March or April, during like the height of the COVID stuff. He had a Matterport done and he actually sold the home without someone actually walking through the home. He sold it purely based on the Matterport, which I'm like, probably something I wouldn't do, but just kind of shows the power of, of what Matterport can do and how confident people can feel that they know the home uh, just through looking like a, through a, a 3D interactive tour, just like this one. The final add-on that we provide is we can provide a sign rider. This is a sign rider would just hang below your for sale sign or, or mount above the wooden signpost. Uh, and it, what it does is it advertises the .com address that we order for your listing webpage. And it also provides you with a 1-800 number. This is manned by an auto attendant uh, who can give the caller uh, access to the listing description. It just reads out the listing description. They get information text to their phone. They can connect that call directly to you, the agent. They can leave you a message as well. Uh, it's a great low barrier of entry way of trying to get people to inquire about your listing. And the great thing too is as soon as they do inquire about it by calling that number, they're going to have their call information um, captured by us and we send that to you after the call terminates and we'll send you the call details as well as what they did and if they left you a message you'll have a message via email as well this is great especially for like if you're farming in a neighborhood because most of the people that do check out this address and phone number they're going to be like your nosy neighbors um, which is good because it's really branding you in their area if, uh, if it's a farm area or you're just looking for business in that area so pricing on these, uh, this is the prices of our additional services. I just want to make a couple notes. There's asterisks next to Aerial and Matterport. Uh, aerial photography, 99% of the time, it's going to be $175. There's a reason there's an asterisk there is because some areas have special permits and things that are required. It really depends on the area. Um, so just, again, contact us in advance. We'll let you know if there's any additional issues with the area that you're trying to get the aerial photography set up for. Matterport, uh, it's pricing just scales with the size of the home. So it's just easier to tell you about it as opposed to just writing it here. It starts at $175. Um, that's up to 1,500 square feet of photographable area. Uh, it goes up to $275. That goes to 2,500 square feet. It's $375 for up to 3,500 square feet. And if it's bigger than that, it's just seven cents extra per square foot. So I'm gonna finish this presentation by going over a couple last things, kind of like tying this all together. Uh, the best reason really to use Spotlight is because of how well it meshes with your listing presentation. Spotlight is ammunition for your listing presentation. It helps you build that case for why you're the best. Right? It gives you a key part to your online marketing strategy. It's really important. So it'd be crazy not to include it in that listing presentation and emphasize it during the listing presentation, right? These two things synergize extremely well. And for that reason, I'm going to show you this marketing resource that we have. This website here, it's probably a good idea to write it down if you have a pen handy or take a picture, I guess, if you got your phone handy. I'll be up here for a few moments. And again, I know that we're recording this so you can come back to it later or if you don't get a chance to check it out. Robert just posted in the chat. Uh, <clears throat> But you can always email us later, especially if maybe if you're watching this after the fact or whatever, you can email us later if you need if you need the access to that link. What this link does is it gives you a bunch of different marketing resources. And it's the reason I'm telling you to write it down is because if you just go to spotlightcentral.ca, you can't find it anywhere. It's kind of hidden. And that's by design because we don't want uh, 
the the general public to get access to some of this information. It's not the end of the world they do, but we just don't want to make it too easy for them to get to there. So if you click on that link, where would it bring you? It's this website here. And this has a bunch of resources, but the two that I'm gonna kind of focus on here is this one here, sample listing presentation slides with talking points. There's an online presentation button here. If you click on that, it's gonna bring you into this listing presentation that we've curated. This listing presentation, it goes over a lot of slides. A lot of them are actually pretty similar to the ones I've shown you today, as you can see here on the left. And it's also got that one really important slide I mentioned with the online advertising strategy, which everyone should use, uh, as well as some statistics about how, you know, you're gonna spend less time in the market if you use a spotlight listing, how we're gonna sell your home for more money, how we're gonna sell it faster, like that kind of stuff too. But one of, the more, one of the important things about this listing presentation is it doesn't just give you the slides, it also gives you talking points. So we're gonna give you some information here because maybe you'll look at this and be like, okay, I remember Lyons talking about this online advertising slide, but I can't really remember what I should be saying about it. So there's a lot of talking points down below that uh, you can look at and you can kind of take cues from to help when you're actually presenting your listing presentation and what you're talking about. And if you know what, if the stuff isn't covered in these talking points, again, words to call away. You can just talk to us about it, have those conversations, get knowledgeable about the product that you're offering your clients. So if you want a copy of this, uh, the best thing to do, like a lot of people will try and like edit this and they'll have to like request edit access. That's not what you want to do. What you want to do is you want to download a copy because this online version, this is like the master copy. You want to download your own copy so you can pull it into your own listing presentation. So to do that, you just click on file and there's going to be a down, like a lot of these will be grayed out because you don't have edit access, but the download feature will be here. Then you just click on one of these, whatever format you want, probably PowerPoint, right? So you download PowerPoint version of it. It'll just download it to your computer and then you can upload or import those slides into your PowerPoint presentation, your Google slides, whatever you use, your Apple slides, whatever it is. And then you can tailor it to your branding, to all your stuff. You can take whatever you want. Maybe you want like just this part, right? But you don't want like the spotlight stuff. So you can take whatever you need. You can move it around. You can use it. You're free to use whatever information you want here. And I definitely would suggest not just being like, okay, this is amazing. I got my own listening presentation. It's already done. I'll do anything. Just you need to make sure you take out or add to slides that are appropriate, like, right? Like let's say you're going to a listing presentation and you're not offering aerial photography. Well, you probably don't want the slide about aerial photography or you're not gonna give them a web writer. Well, probably don't put that slide in about the web writer, right? Like you can customize it to how you want uh, for your own listing presentation. It's fully customizable. Okay, so that's about it. Um, one thing I was considering doing actually too, maybe let's do it quickly here. Um, let's see, I just wanna show everyone how to log in. So in order to do that, I'll have to log out. So if you go to homania.com, this is where you can, if you want to like order or manage your listings, this is where you'd go. You go to homania.com and there'll be a little agent login here. And you click on that login and it'll ask you for your username and password. You've all probably got one because part of the onboarding process at Heritage, even if you're a brand new agent, is they'll set you up with uh, a username and password for, for Spotlight or for Homania. Um, but if you don't know what your username or password is, the best thing to do is just click on here. It's like, forgot your username or password. You click on that and it'll say, okay, here's, put your email in and click on the reset password. You put your email in and it will send you uh, an email saying, okay, click on this link to reset your password and here's some instructions. Here's what your username is. It'll go over what you need to do to log in properly. If it says that, okay, your email address isn't on file, we might just have, like people these days have like 20 emails each, right? So it might just have a different email on file. Just call us or, or ask us, or you can even ask your front desk what email we have on file for you because they can check it out as well. Um, so all you have to do is log in here. Um, good thing it doesn't show the password here because then I wouldn't have access here. But okay, so you, you come into the marketing portal, click on my listings, and this is where it's gonna show all your listings. Now on my screen, you're gonna see all listings for like, every agent under the sun. Uh, but what, it, what you'll have is you'll have your listings there. There'll be an order spotlight button. There's also a big one right here and you kind of go through the process yourself. I'm not gonna go through it all. Um, if it's something you need help with, you know, just contact our customer support. We've got Robert or other staff that are more than happy to help you kind of through that process. But this is where you'd go to manage everything. And again, like I mentioned off the top, we, you don't have to do any of this. You, a lot of agents don't even like touch the online stuff. They just call us, they place an order over the phone. They say, okay, Robert, 
or whoever picks up, whoever's talking on the phone, I've got a listing coming up of one, two, three main street. I need photography for tomorrow. And then we'll be like, okay, we'll just handle the rest of it for you. Right. So it just depends on how, if you want to manage it yourself a little bit or not, we do have that option here too. So that's, I think, yeah, I'm billing this to your brokerage shoot. Thanks Robert for putting that in the chat. So if you, if you place an order, you don't need a credit card or anything. It's just billed through the brokerage's accounting system. So you'll get invoiced for any spotlight orders that you do. And that includes anything that you do, might do like print order wise um, on your monthly billing cycle with from, from Heritage's accounting department. So you don't have to pay for this on a credit card right away, which is a great advantage as well. To having us, you know, obviously partnering and starting with Heritage. So I, I, I want to thank uh, Linus for coming in first of all, um, to do this and we'll continue uh, doing these. It's an amazing program. And one of the ways that I always use this was uh, in a listing presentation, um, I would really bring it down to numbers. And people under, a lot of people understand numbers when you're talking about money in, the, in, in their pocket, right? So the difference as we know between one offer and two offer could be $20,000, $30,000. And the difference between three offers and six offers could be $100,000. I mean, the difference between offers makes all the difference in terms of money in the pocket. So with the Spotlight Marketing Program, I would always show them and prove to them that if I could, uh, if your general agent just puts it on the MLS and uh, gets, let's say, let's say 50 people to see it on the MLS, 10 showings and one offer. If I was able to prove to them that I could get them 200 people to see the property, create 20 showings, how many offers, how many more offers are going to come in? Statistically, they're going to double. If I can double the amount of views, I can double the amount of showings and therefore I double the amount of offers. So instead of one offer, you'll get two. Instead of two, you get four, et cetera. And I show them that by generating more business to that um, section of spotlight. So there's a back end section that uh, I'm not sure um, that we didn't get into, but you can actually see how many people have viewed the property. And I send all any, uh, whether I do pay-per-click ads or any ad or just posting on a social media and all the syndicated sites generates more showings and usually double the amount of showings than realtor.ca. So um, that's how I would quantify that in a listing presentation to show them how much more money I could make them on their house. And trust me, the $5,000 or $10,000 difference in commission that you may be charging over somebody else, if you can show them you'll make thirty or 50000 more, um, they'll understand the value that you have. So sorry, that was a long winded uh, example, but I really used that a lot in my listing presentation and it made a big difference in terms of getting the listing, but also getting more commission on the listing as well. Yeah. And just kind of go along with that um, the last presentation that I gave and it looks like it was on April 30th. So exactly a couple months ago, um, <clears throat> I went over a lot more on the listing presentation side of things. And what Aaron's talking about is almost exactly what this slide here from that presentation shows. Um, so again, like if you can look up that presentation that was recorded and I'm not sure Aaron or Tina where the best place to find that would be. Um, yeah. And I think everyone knows now we, we promote it so much as the YouTube channel. <laughs> So okay. we have a training YouTube channel. It's got, got over 450 agents, I think, on it now. So um, I think for the most part, everybody uh, uh, has access to that. So if, you, and if you're not part of that, subscribe to that today because it's a, it's a great resource for training. Yeah, that, that presentation is kind of like part two of the one I just did, even though we yeah. did it in reverse. <laughs> so a lot of this content will be a little similar, but there you can obviously skip ahead to the parts that, you know, maybe talk about the listing presentation or stuff. There's some good information there. All right. Awesome. Thank you, much, Thank you Linus. Linus. No problem. Thanks, everyone. And like I said, we're always a call away. So just if you have any questions that pop up later, feel free to ask.